everyone and welcome to class of IPB4 addressing. In this class today we are going to discuss about IPB4 addressing. Subnetting an IP network or a class A, class B, class C is simply a set of numbered IP addresses and they follow the same preset rules. Class A, class B and class C rules define that for a given network all the addresses have same value in some of the octets of the addresses. So, determining number of subnets, that means to determine the number of subnets required, engineer must think about the interwork and then count the locations. Engineer require access to network diagram, VLAN configuration details and details about the WAN links. Determining number of subnets. There is a need to plan for one subnet for every WAN, P2P link and Ethernet WAN as we had discussed in our last class also. So three subnets will be needed for the WAN links, one per link. However, each LAN switch can be configured with the single VLAN or multiple VLANs. Defining the size of the subnet. A subnet size is a number of usable IP addresses in the subnet. Subnetting design can either use one size subnet or varied sizes of the subnets. The mask set aside a number of host bits whose purpose is to, uh, is to number different host IP addresses in that subnet. If the masks define H host bits, the subnet contain 2 raised to power of H unique number numeric values. However, the subnet size is not 2 raised to power of H. If it is 2 raised to the power of h because two numbers are reserved for other purposes, then it has multiple subnet sizes. To create multiple sizes in class A, class B, class C network, engineer must create subset nurses using one mask. Different masks mean different number of host width and a different number of hosts in some sub, sub subnets based to this formula. Then it has public IP networks. Now the original design of the internet require that any company that connected to the internet has had to be a registered IP network. This public IP network and the administrative processes surrounding them, they ensure that all the companies that connect to the internet all use unique IP addresses. In particular, after a public IP network is assigned to a company, only that company should use the addresses in the network. That guarantee the uniqueness means that internet routing can work well because there are no duplicate public IP addresses. Then private IP networks. When uses a NAT, almost every organization that connects to internet uses this. The company can simply pick up one or more private IP network from a list of available IP networks. They have improved IPv4 implementation worldwide because it uh, avoid using another organization public addresses range from a private networks. It avoids delaying of exhaustion then reduce the internet routers routing table size. We have to choose the mask for this that means number of subnets required, number of hosts per subnet required that a choice was made to use only one mask for all the subnets so that all the subnets are in the same size. And the class full IP network number that will be subnetted. We have to build a list of all the subnets that means the subnet consists of consecutive numbers. The numbers using these subnet number and broadcast. Thank you.